Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> you are fabulous. All right, so today's video, such a cool video, okay? Not only do I have some really cool DIYs going on today, but this is a collaboration video with the Crafting Cousins, Lacey Space, Rebecca Virginia DIY, and also Lisa Burningham. Y'all, what an amazing list it is. It is called the Fab Five, which I think is so stinking cool. I love that. <laughs> Y'all are going to love this. I'll have a link in my description box for that playlist. So be sure you check that out because not only are you going to get a lot of inspiration today, there is a chance, two chances actually, to win a $50 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is watch all five videos like those videos and also leave a comment so that we know that you were there, okay? Definitely going to be a blast. You're going to love this. Um, <clears throat> and then, like I said, you've got two chances to win that gift card. So, be sure you check out that description box. All right, let's jump in. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with me today. All right, y'all, let's get started. So, for this first one, I have got some butterflies that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'll tell you a little bit more about the butterflies here in a minute, but I thought these were a pretty good... Um, pretty good quality, actually. I've then got a canvas that I got for $2.99 at the Goodwill, and some of these stickers, they're like the Pop Dot stickers from um, the Dollar Tree, and then I've also got some half beads that I got on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box for those. Now, I'm going to be using some gloves, just mainly because I had actually just gotten my nails done the day before this, so anyways, but then we're going to use some Starbond Multi-Purpose Medium Adhesive. This is some great glue. I have been using the Starbond brand for over a year now, and I really do like it. it. Works really, really well. I just glued these little stickers. I wasn't sure that they would stay stuck, like when I went to paint this, so that's why I went ahead and did the the super glue just to make sure that my stickers stayed in you know in their place. So stayed put. Um, but I just finished this process all the way around um, this butterfly. Now each lady in this playlist today was asked to pick an item that another lady had to use in her video. And so, um, Lacey's Space picked mine, and it was butterflies. And I'm so glad that she did, because I would have never picked this for myself, but I'm so proud of how this turned out. <laughs> so, I'm actually really, really happy that she, she picked butterflies for me. So, I hope that y'all like this, okay? This is just my little, um, my little take on the butterfly decor. Anyway, so I just added those half beads same way as I did the stickers. I just put down some of the glue and then placed my half beads all the way around these this butterfly. Super simple. I'm then going to take some elephant chalk paint by Waverly and paint that one. I'm going to be using the silver lining on the butterfly with the stickers, and then the plain butterfly will be the plaster color. So, I, maybe y'all can tell there, but you know, you've got like the the thickness of the... Um, um, the, the thickness of the half beads, then it goes down a notch to just the, the stickers, and then it goes down to nothing, and then you've got the dark gray, and then it goes down to a light gray, and then it goes down to even light, you know, not light gray, but plaster, whatever. So, kind of an ombre effect in a sense. Y'all just bear with me, okay? I promise this turns out really good. <laughs> All right, so I just painted each of my butterflies. I'm then gonna go back and distress them. I've got some chip brushes. I'm gonna be using the antique wax on my one with plaster. I'm gonna use the plaster on the one with the silver lining, and then I'm gonna use the silver lining on the one that has the um, elephant color. So I just simply dry brush these. So simple. You just pretty much slap the paint on your, I mean, it's, more or less, you want that object to catch the paint as the bristles go by. So, you're not really painting it. You're more or less letting it kind of catch the paint, if that makes sense. So, I just went through and distressed each one of these butterflies. I really focused on the dots. That was what I wanted to, to really show up the most on this. And it, oh, they look so good. Okay, so, then we do the... Um, antique wax. And I did start out light with the antique wax because I wasn't sure just exactly how I wanted that to look. And then I start going in darker because it did look better, you know, with a little bit darker on the edges. 
Now, I do go back with a baby wipe and really clean these up because I didn't want a lot of that antique wax. I wanted just enough that it looked distressed, but not so much that it took away from the beautiful um, gray color that we have going on here, or the, the beautiful, you know, just the... I don't know how to explain this to y'all. I'm sorry. I'm trying, guys. So anyways, I just went through and distressed each one of these. And then, like I said, I took a baby wipe, wiped them back off. I wanted you to be able to see that the pretty contrast between the colors. There you go. That's what I was trying to say the whole dang time. Anyways, so I took my canvas, painted it with my white Waverly chalk paint. I laid my butterflies out. I'm just going to simply glue these right to that canvas. Super simple. Take the next one. I'm going to glue it down. Of course, my glue gun ran out of glue. Duh. And I had to add more to it. Anyways, glue that second one down. Move on to the last one. And that is all I did to this project, y'all. I think it turned out so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for y'all to see this. Check it out. Alrighty, moving right along, DIY number two. So for this one, I have got um, these a couple of these boxes from the Dollar Tree. Now this one had a lid to it, like it, the lid has like a die cut in it or whatever. Some of them have butterflies, some of them have, I don't know, owls or something. <laughs> and then I've got two of those other little boxes. I have got some paint sticks. I've also got a canvas that I picked up at Five Below. You can get... Um, no, I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby. I take that back. You can get two of those for like $6.99, I think. Anyways, I'm just going around it with my um, utility knife right along like the edge where the um, staples are. If you just get really close to those, you'll be able to go back and just rip that canvas right off. It's very easy. Now, I don't worry about pulling staples out. i busted my knuckles to one too many times trying to do that and i finally just said to heck with it so anyways i i got a few of the staples out but i didn't really waste my time doing that i just flipped it over now we're going to be using the back side of it i'm i'm actually just laying these out here on the front side just to kind of get my placement of where i wanted my sticks but as you can see there, it's got like a dip in it, and that's where I wanted the, the sticks to go. I wanted them to lay just right flat inside that little dip so that they look like they were kind of supposed to be there. You know what I mean? So I just laid my, my um, paint sticks out, marked them off where it needed to be cut, and then took my miter shears and cut it. Now, these miter shears I have a link in miter shears I will have a link in the description box for. But let me tell you something about them. I my hands are not real strong. And so I struggle with the miter shears. I know some people make it look super easy, but sometimes they're not so easy to use. Oh, and yes, I, I've got a towel on my head. <laughs> I forgot that was in here. <laughs> hey, I shower, okay? I, I, I took a shower anyways and got straight back into crafting. Well, another thing I want y'all to notice is right there in the middle, there is a... Um, a, a line that's part of the frame. It's a piece of wood that's part of the frame that goes right across the middle, and I'm actually going to take a paint stick and cover that with it. I'm just going to cover right over the top of it. Now, I got this nail brad nailer. It is a um, brad nailer. It does um, staples, uh, steeples, maybe something else like that. But anyways, I got it on Amazon and I'll, I'm, I'm still kind of getting used to it. So I'm not going to give like a major review on it yet, but so far so good. I like it so far. It's pretty easy to pull the trigger. Um, 
but it does got like a really loud pow to it, I guess. It scares my dogs. <laughs> They are my two blue pits, for gosh sakes, y'all. Yes, they're scared of the of the, the the staple gun. Anyway, so I just bride nailed these into place. I put one into each end of it. I do go back and add a second one, but I, I honestly just put the one in so that I could kind of quickly get them um, nailed into place while I had them just right. Because I just eyeballed this as far as the placement of those those slats. I really just eyeballed it. Now, once I've gotten my slats together, my, my little frame here is ready to go. I'm going to add some elephant chalk paint, Waverly chalk paint, to a bowl, and then I'm just going to add some water to it. Now, I started out with my spray, bu spray bottle, and then I actually realized that it was still just a little bit too thick, so I did take it over to the sink and add some, you know, add some water to it because I really wanted it very light. I just wanted this to look like weathered wood. I didn't really want it to look like it had ever had any paint or anything on it. I just wanted it to be a very, very light gray color. Kind of sticking with the theme of the grays that we used in the first project. So, like I said, I just went right over the top of this with that stain mixture that I've got. I usually just wet my projects down and then do the paint over the top of them and then wipe them off. But but because this was such a big project and I knew I was going to have to paint these little things too, the little... Um, boxes. I just went ahead and mixed me up some. So, after I got my frame and all painted, I then go in and start painting the boxes. And I just paint these boxes all the way around, across the top, down on the inside a little ways, and across the bottom. Because you're gonna, you will be able to see the bottom. But this was such a simple, simple DIY, y'all. And it is so stinking cute. Like, y'all are gonna love this one. I just know it. But, this one was the easiest one of the day, literally, and it's it's probably my favorite. So, I just take my my floral foam and kind of lay it on the edge of the boxes, and that's how I figure out how long to cut it. And then I just cut off a little of the top because it was a little too tall, but as you can see there, I just find my little placement there, push down, and then you've got your line. And all you got to do is cut it out, take a little off the top, and boom fits in there perfect. All right, so I just added my floral foam to these boxes. I'm then going to take these little dudes that I picked up at the Dollar General store, a dollar a piece. How stinking pretty are these? Yo, they're so realistic looking like for real. And I'm actually going to keep those little those little stone things because you could use those on a, you know, to make legs on a riser or anything. So, all right, now once I got my boxes ready, I then lay those down, and now they are uneven because, you know, they were different sizes. So, I just lay down, like, two matching ones, you know, two that are about the same or, will, you know, were the same size. And lay them down, and then I'm going to brad nail those right into place. This was such an easy DIY, y'all. And you could, you could glue these boxes. If you don't have a staple gun or, you know, a brad nailer or whatever... That is totally fine. You could use A6000. You can use wood glue. Like, wood glue would be the best thing to use for this. But, um, so many... You could even use hot glue if you had to. But, because you're not going to be putting anything heavy in those boxes. So, anything pretty much glue-wise would, would, um, work here. But I just placed these like I wanted them. I kept flipping it over and, like, making sure that I had it right where I wanted it. And then I would flip it back over place my boxes down, and then nail them in. So, just finish this with the rest of the boxes. Now, the one that had the um, frame, the part of the frame that was going down the middle, I said, I mentioned that earlier. The one that had that, I, there was no way to d use my brad nailer through that piece of wood because it would have just split and it would have been a mess. So, I just you took some of my Starbond multi-purpose adhesive. This one was the brown one, and I just use it because why not? But anyways, <laughs> and then I sprayed a little accelerator onto the actual slat and then just glued it on. Simple as that. And this has been hanging in my house ever since, and it's fine. So, like I said, glue, any kind of glue will work also. I just popped my little plants in there, and that's all I did to this. I think this is so, so stinking cute. Oh, no, actually, I did one more thing. I added some reindeer moss so that you could not see my floral foam. Don't worry, y'all. I did not leave that floral foam looking all 
wanky. <laughs> I do add some hot glue, add in some floral foam, and there you have it. This is done. Too pretty. Uh, All right, next up, DIY number three. So for this one, I've got four of the wood um, cutouts from the Dollar Tree. I've also got two of these candle cups that came from the Dollar Tree. I love the design that was on them. And then I've got a um, candlestick that was thrifted and also a vase that I used in another DIY, but I end up not using that. I'm gonna be using my Starbond Thick Multi-Purpose Adhesive along with the Accelerator. What we're gonna do is build us a set of just big, chunky farmhouse candlesticks. So I sprayed, the, I put the glue on the candlestick, sprayed the accelerator onto the um, wooden round, and then just glued those two together. Yes, I do go back and fill in all my holes, y'all. I know I should have done that from the beginning, but I just kind of forgot about them. I got excited about this project and just kind of like went at it like a mad woman. Y'all do that? Does anybody else do that? Let me know in the comments. Do you just kind of get into something and you're like, oh, okay, I get ahead of myself. <laughs> anyway, so I'm adding um, glue to the bottom of that candle cup. And yes, I left the sticker on there. I thought that the sticker might actually help it, you know, adhere even better give it more to stick to than just the glass. Um, I add glue to the top of that candle holder and then add that to the wood round. Now we've got our first one. Go back in, add in some of the plaster from uh, our spackle. That is from the Dollar Tree. Fill in my holes. I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other one, except this time we're using a Dollar Tree um, candle holder instead of the thrifted one. I then go back and I'm going to paint these with my elephant chalk paint. Completely paint them top to bottom. Y'all, that Lazy Susan I picked up at um, the Goodwill for like $3.99, I think. It had an N on it and that doesn't match my last name. So, no big deal. I was going to paint it and actually put it on my kitchen table. And then I was like, nope, you know what? I'm fixing to use that sucker for when I'm painting. I'm going to use it. It's going to be mine for crafting. And that's what, that's what I did with it. <laughs> very, very handy. Now I've got my silver lining chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm just going to get a little on my chip brush here and just go at these dudes. I just start dry brushing and it just starts coming to life. Now I started out light just going over them. I wasn't really sure where I was going with it. I was just going to try to kind of feel it out and see how it went. And then when I went over the candle cups, you could really see it on that um, design. Check that out. So pretty. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go in with a little more of the, 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 um, silver lining. So I ended up going a little darker with my silver lining, more or less painting it and making it look pretty thick. Um, especially after I started on this second one, cause I went in on it super heavy. And so I thought, well, the, it'll look like the silver lining, but then underneath you've got that elephant kind of peeking through. And so that really, really looked good. And so I just ended up going with the, going in with the silver lining pretty heavy on both of them. But these were so simple to make. <laughs> Y'all, you just saw me do that. I mean, they literally took like five minutes to make and about 10 minutes to paint. So super simple. And then you've got yourself a set of chunky farmhouse um, candlesticks that I just think they turned out great. Now I'm taking some antique wax. And this is the last thing I did to them. I just took that antique wax on a small brush and I added it right around the edge of where every little indention was on this candlestick. So anywhere where like the glass meets up here at the on the second little 
edge of it. I'm going to add more. And then I do take my baby wipe and wipe back at it. I don't want it to be so distressed that, like I said before, it takes away from the color, you know. But at the same time, I wanted it to be pretty darn distressed because I wanted these very, very farmhouse looking. So I go back with that baby wipe, just wiping it off, smearing it in, kind of blending it in, making sure to get every edge. That was the main thing. I wanted to make sure that each edge was, was really, really dark. Now, I do wipe this one back off quite a bit. You'll see here in a minute. Um, but I do get a clean baby wipe and kind of go back over this one and get a little bit of that uh, antique wax off. Same thing with the next one. I just add it in when I wipe it off. And that's it. That's all I did to these. These were so simple. Look at how pretty. Oh, my gosh. Last but not least, DIY number four. So for this one, I've got two of these candy dishes that I picked up from the Dollar General. I believe they were like $1.35 a piece, something like that. And then I've also got some more of those stickers like we used in um, the DIY from before, the very first one. Um, all I did was just go around these candy dishes and add those stickers. I'm just kind of going with that whole theme that we had. I wanted all of this stuff to obviously be, you know, cohesive with each other. So just thought this was the best way to kind of spice these little jar, these, these candy dishes up. Now I painted them with my elephant chalk paint by Waverly. I know you are so sick of that color at this point, but I love it. I would literally probably paint at least one wall in my house <laughs> with the elephant chalk paint. If I had enough, I would, because it's got to be that particular color because it's just such a gorgeous color. Now I took a small, um, I started out with a small chip brush and I was just going around, just around the dots that are actually on the um, candy dishes. I wanted that part to be the majority of where the distressing was. I took a baby wipe and went back and wiped really, really good along the middle section so that the distressing would be really focused around the top and around the bottom just a real distinct look. I wanted that that one color to be super dark and then you would have that, you know, kind of highlight color. Now, I did take some twine on this one and just wrap it up it just so far up. I had to use a little hot glue to get it started and then once I got it started, I was able to just wrap up until I got to where I wanted. I snipped it off, added a little hot glue. I add some greenery to these two and a candle and they are cute. And now for the final reveal, I hope that y'all enjoy.
what did you think? Super cute, right? There were so many cool DIYs in this video. I'm very, very proud of this one. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family. Also subscribe. That would be awesome. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Guys, do not forget to check my description box for that link to the playlist. You're going to want to check these out. And don't forget, there's a $50 Amazon gift card at stake here, okay? So you've got two chances to win. All you have to do is watch all five videos, like those videos, and comment on all five videos. Be sure you do that. It is called the Fab Five and this was an amazing thing. So thank you so much to the Crafting Cousins for having me on this. And I just want to thank all the other ladies that were part of this. This has just been so much fun. And getting to know everybody a little more, all, that's always fun for me. I love that. So anyways, all right. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Y'all have a great day.